<laughs> Hello friends, this is going to be an interesting ride. In this video we will be testing the Radiolink A560 and most importantly asking the question, is this a viable 3D trainer? To best answer this question, I have enlisted some help from a few of my friends at the field as well as Honeywood Hobby's number one durability tester, my son. <laughs> I will not lie to you. What do you think? I don't know. Our first few hours with this plane were a struggle. Partially due to our purest attitude and refusal to use any of the optional stabilization systems. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure, our friends at Radiolink sent us this plane to review, and since there are 126,384 other reviews on YouTube of this plane, we more so want to focus on its aerobatic and 3D capability, particularly without all the fancy assists like vertical mode and auto leveling. We are looking to see if it's worth the stick time in our small backyard flying space nice. cool. and in other areas where obstacles are an issue. So let's get started. Ooh. First and foremost, this plane is ridiculously tough. After the first 50 crashes or so, we developed some big splits in the fuselage. This was nothing that a little foam tack couldn't put right back together. <laughs> I'm not kidding you when I say that <laughs> this plane has been crashed hundreds of times. Literally hundreds. And aside from a half a tube of foam tack, we've had to readjust or reattach some of the linkages, but all the electronics, including the servos, remain functional and intact. Send it. No matter what any of us throw at this thing, it refuses to die. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the flight characteristics of the A560 are interesting. The more we got used to this thing, the more fun it became. Snap rolls, knife edge, harriers, hovering are all possible with this bird. Out of the box, it has an enormous amount of throw, and the sticks are very sensitive. Flying the plane Ready? in this stock configuration was extremely difficult. There's just so much throw, and no expo programmed in. That being said, its sensitivity has actually helped my 3D skills. I'll talk about that more later. Nice. Connecting to the T8S transmitter via the Radiolink app, we were able to limit the travel and put in some expo. And by some expo, I mean 90%. <laughs> but it did help the plane considerably. It was much easier to control. And within a couple of weeks of playing around with this thing, we were able to start pulling off some neat maneuvers. And more neat crashes. We were most excited about the idea of being able to go in the backyard and practice hovering. And after some practice and a whole lot of expo, it did not disappoint. One of the things it's taught me is to stay calm and not overcorrect, as 3D planes require small and precise stick movements. <laughs> this plane has a certain send it factor, we'll call it. It isn't terribly fast, doesn't weigh enough to hurt you, and it's extremely durable. It is very confidence inspiring, as you're not as afraid to break it, or even hit yourself in a moment of dumb thumbs. <laughs> what this plane definitely does not have is precision. It gets tossed around by a light wind, and the flight controller sometimes seems to have a mind of its own. The gyro seems to be overcompensating sometimes, which makes me wonder what a regular old 4-channel receiver would be like in here no stabilization or any of that jazz. All right, go for it. So what do other experienced 3D pilots feel about this aircraft? 
Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the stick ends are really nice though. Brownie was up first, and his first attempt went much, much better than mine. He has spent years flying highly sensitive 3D aircraft, so adjusting to the massive throws and high sensitivity was much easier for him. The crankshafts and pop tops that I'm accustomed to seeing him perform uh, were not happening with this plane. But oh! uh, torque rolls, hovers, and harriers, he was able to perform just fine. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> These guys train newcomers to the field every year, teaching both young and old how to fly, and have passed down a wealth of knowledge to my son and I over the past few months. That being said, I could see the hesitation in Brownie's eyes when I brought out this plane. Bob's look was no different, but being the wonderful gentlemen they are, they were thrilled to give it a go and offer their opinions. Comparing this model to a more serious 3D trainer, like an E-Flight Erratix, or some of the Twisted Hobbies flat foamies, would be unfair. <laughs> what this thing lacks for performance, it makes up for in durability and laughs. It had a mind of its own. I, I literally was not doing anything like that. It brought a smile to everyone's face who flew it, and the challenge of wadding this thing up and hanging it by the prop kept things interesting. Mitchell, another excellent pilot from the club, with little 3D experience, flew it as well. He's been considering getting into 3D for a while, and this plane interested him. For around 200 US dollars, you get a nearly indestructible model, ready to fly with everything you need, in a sweet padded case. <laughs> Final opinions. What do you think about this thing? I mean, it's tough, like super tough. Oh, is it fun? Yes, if you know how to fly it. It's fun, you can smash it in the ground a million times. That's what you need for a trainer. It's just too touchy and stuff. Yeah. Is this worth your hard earned monies? If you're looking for a plane you can safely fly in your backyard, Throw in your car for a vacation or a work trip, pass it around amongst friends at the bonfire, or for practicing hovering and other 3D maneuvers in a confined flying space, we don't think you'll be disappointed with your purchase. We all have to agree though that this is not a serious 3D trainer. That being said, after spending hours trying to control this thing in the backyard, I have been noticeably smoother and more precise with my full-size 3D birds. Stick time is stick time, I guess, eh? But again, what I think is most important about this plane is just how much fun you can have with it. <laughs> you are? It's still alive! Oh. Let us know what you think in the comments below of the Radiolink A560 and of your experiences with 3D trainers. It's fine. We had such a good time getting this thing stuck in trees and smashing it into the ground. Consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this as well. Clear skies and God bless.